morning. Knackered. I just dropped the kids off to school and I'm off to the garage with my car to see what that oil is coming out of it from underneath. And then I've got stuff to do in the house, but I think I'm also going to go home and dye my hair. Yes, a blonde. We'll see what that turns out like. Uh, can't remember what colour it is. Maybe natural dark blonde, something like that. So I'm not digging this colour. Although it's not totally grey, it's like a bit of light brown and grey and stuff. I'm not, I'm not digging it. And to get it silver, I can't be bothered with bleaching it, then dyeing it. Who's got time to do all that? And then I could go to the hairdressers, but I don't want to spend out the money. Because... One, I'm feeling tight. Two, I need to make my money last. And three, I say I haven't got time. I, I really haven't. I've never been so busy in my life. My legs are paying for it though, and I've now taken even more pain. I'll be overdosing now, falling asleep. I've taken even more painkillers than I'm supposed to. So, I can have 12 a day, which is maximum dose. I asked them to change them and give me something else. One doctor said I could have morphine. They're that bad. And then when I went back to see another doctor, because in our doctors, don't have the same with yours, you never see the same doctor. When I was a kid, we had a doctor, old Dr. Tricky was called, lovely old man, and uh, we saw the same doctor, had a family doctor, the doctors knew you inside and out. Now, you go to the doctor, and you see a different one every single time, every time. And I hardly ever go to the doctor unless I feel like I'm dying, literally. Because if you go for a pimple on your backside, it's because you're too fat. Not that I would go to the doctor for a pimple on my backside, but you get the gist. Any little thing, oh, it's your weight. So I end up not going. Self-diagnose, treat myself, unless I think I'm dying, or my gallbladder plays up, which now I've said will probably play up because it hasn't done for a while. That's one thing, when I lost weight quite fast before, my gallbladder played up. That is, that's the, oh, that's the worst thing ever. <sighs> and that's another thing I was on the list to have that done and the doctor said to me he was horrible I remember his name because he was horrible Mr Dr Woodward so if you're watching me which you won't be I know you're an arsehole I went in there and I came out crying and the nurse was like oh, oh he's, he's always like that don't listen to him he turned around to me and said get down to 16 stone and then come back and we'll um, we'll sort your gallbladder out. And until then, we're going to take you off the list sort of thing, because they wouldn't do it. And then before he walked out the room, he pointed at me with his finger, right in my face. I was like, oh. And he went, and you'll never do it. So I left there, thinking to myself, I'll show you, you horrible man. I'll do it, I'll do it. I never did, anyway. I did for about a week and then I went off my diet again. But it hasn't played up. i tell you what, being big, right? Oh, she is. Being big and having, trying to get anything done. Like, I could have probably had my knees done um, a couple of years ago. But no, you're too big. And I get it, yeah, you could have heart attack on the table or whatever but come on and one guy said 
I went to see, he was really nice, and he was like, oh, if you really, really are suffering and it's ruining your life, then, you know, they will do it. And I'm like, well, it, I am suffering. I am suffering. So, still don't do it. Never mind, I'll just hobble on as I do. Hobble on. Move to a bungalow, that'd be nice. That'd be it, won't it? Get all my house lovely, new kitchen and la di da di da and then move. So right, let's go and see what's up with my car then. So I've had nothing to eat yet. I'm not planning on um having anything out of that. I bought a cookbook off someone off Facebook. I need to go and pick that up. Joe Wicks, Leaning 15. I haven't got the right change, I don't think, so I'll have to go and sort that out. And then I'm home to dye my hair. Oh, God. Let you know what I have for breakfast, or if I'm here for hours, which I doubt it. Then, uh, oh, when I get back, I gotta take my mother to put a birthday card through someone's door. If she doesn't know where they live, but she's got the postcode, so I'm sure we'll find it. Right, I'll catch you in the next clip. Well, I look a twat already. He said it's an electric car, it doesn't have oil in it. So I said, well, I did think, well, I thought it was oil. That I didn't think it had oil in it. So it's some other sort of fluid. <laughs> but they're checking it. And it's got a recall on the battery no one told me about. Cars, bane of my life. So, I've now got my car back. It was worth taking it because they've washed it. All the cars at the moment are really dirty, aren't they? It's something to do with the weather. And they're all, like, really scummy on the bottom and mine was like that and I haven't washed it and I was thinking oh, I'm gonna have to take it for a car wash but they washed my car anyway it's had all the updates um, that it needed doing for the recall and the so-called oil that I saw dripping that isn't oil they couldn't find anything wrong with that so I just got to keep an eye on it and see they reckon I might have picked something up underneath and it was dripping can't see that but fine um yes yeah, so that's my car sorted and it didn't cost me anything thank god and i just invited over jess we were going to go out for food tonight to an italian but i'm going out tomorrow night so i was like mm, better not really go out tonight and i'm out that's me else happening can't think No. Well, anyway, I've invited Jess over tonight and we're going to have lasagna with garlic bread and some salad. So, um, I'm just nipping into Tesco to get some mince to make my lasagna. And some Domio. I'm going to do, um, I say cheats Domio. Is it lazy Domio? I'm just not making it from scratch with tomato puree and all that malarkey. I buy my white sauce, buy my red sauce, bang it together in the oven. Nice quick dinner. I'll just do it on the recipe builder. Do you know that recipe builder's absolutely marvellous on NutriCheck? You just put everything in, divide it into servings, and Bob's your uncle, there's your calories. Um, yeah, I was going to dye my hair, but I don't know if I've got time, because it's half ten now. Still haven't had anything to eat. Um, might get a sandwich in here or something and then when I get home I can just dye my hair maybe hmm. right picked up everything I wanted in a Tesco's oh they've got this new um, like Yo Sushi counter in there and they had all these samples in little cute little tubs and he was like oh do you want to try them 
And I was like, oh no thanks. Oh, so I swerved that. I mean, I did buy something off there. <clears throat> Hot cross buns. I'm off to my mother's now to put her socks on for her. Her compression socks and sort of hearing aids out. So I got two of these. You can have two packs for a pound. So I'm having a pack and I've got a pack for my mother. And the smell coming off these. Oh, it's just amazing. 214, an average one. You've got to weigh them, obviously. And I picked up a prawn sandwich for 339 calories, which I'm going to have now. It's quarter past 11, but I have had no breakfast. And when I go home, I'm busy. So I'm going to have that now. And then I picked this up from the Yo Sushi counter. It is a fresh custard. Oh, let's, here we go. Doro Yakai, maybe? Anyway, it... It looks like it's two scotch pancakes with custardy stuff in the middle. And it's 162 calories. I thought that was quite good. So I'm going to have the sandwich and that whilst I drive to my mother's. And then um, I'm going to go home and sort out stuff. I'll show you what I picked up in Tesco. I did get one new thing that I saw. But yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. So. I'm just about to dye my hair, so I'm going to just show you quickly what I bought um, in Tesco. I've just got it in bags next to me before I put it away. So I got some mozzarella and cheese mix, and you were looking at a blind person. It's just not the camera. Is they cleaning? 99 calories for 30 grams, and they were on offer two for three pounds. So I also got some mature cheddar, 30 grams, 125 calories. I bought this mug. You are made of magic. Yes, I am. No, I bought this for the kids or whoever wants to drink out of it. It was reduced to £2. I got this Pepper Army because it came with my meal deal. I picked that instead of the, um, the crisps. So I'm just going to stick that in the fridge. It's 112 a stick. So I purchased that. I also had Pepsi Max that came with my meal deal. That's one calorie for the whole bottle. Don't count them. Told you that before. I got some Shine Shampoo. Same conditioner. I bought some Hot Cross Buns which I've given my mother one pack, so they're nice. Oh, they're so nice toasted, bit of butter on. I picked up these, not seen these before. They are the Laughing Cow, but they are chickpea. Warren won't abide these. Chickpea and cheese spread with herbs. And they are 36 calories per triangle. So I got them, thought I'd give them a bash. So that's my first lot of uh, stuff. I'm in a race now to get my hair done before I go up to school. And then I go into the lady's house to pick up cookbook. I got parsley. Guinea pigs seem to love parsley, so I got that. Warburton spins. I wonder why I bought Warburton spins. Two packets and all. I can feel my trim pie coming out. These are bang on 100 calories each. Got them. One natural yogurt, which is 72 calories for 100 grams, and there's 150 in that one. Then I picked up this for our dessert later because my friend's coming over. 
Tarte a Citron. It made it, it's got a bit bashed the packaging, but it's made it back in one piece. I'll tell you what, I can't see a thing. 243 calories for a six of the tart. So there is six of us going to be having it, so it's not going to be a huge bit. So I've got that. That's another bag. And then I got this to go with that tart. Ta da! President cream with a hint of vanilla flavour. It said it was new and it is, let's have a look, my god the writing's tiny, da, 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 da. where's nutritional information on here? Oh, per 100 grams it is 305 calories but who has 100 grams of that? Unless you like me in the olden days that would be at the fridge like this, you'd open the fridge door and it'd be like that. And then the kids would be like, what are you doing? Anyway, don't do that anymore. Do I? But yeah, that. I'm looking forward to that. Nice bit of tart and a bit of cream. Deodorant. The old pits. And then I've got two of these because they were reduced. I thought they would go nice with our lasagna later instead of like a load of salad. So I'm just going to do a piece of lasagna, this stuff, what I've got here, and garlic bread, and then tartar citron. Anybody want to come for dinner? Although by the time you've seen this, it's the next day, so... Oh, now the postman's come. Right, chipotle sweet potato, a smoky spiced sweet potato with red onion, peppers and beans they're a yellow sticker bargain for two pounds so they had one pound fifty off them so what i thought i would do i'll take them out of the tray because i bought two of them because there's going to be six of us so maybe a bit of a tight portion yeah. with that and it says it serves four so i will take them out of the tray and i will put them into my ninja and i will just cook them in there until they're nice and crispy and then the last couple of bits I got were garlic bread, eight garlic ciabatta slices, 129 calories. This monkey top, because I'm about to dye my hair. Oh, I thought my screen was dirty, but no, it's my top. British brie, because I do like a bit of brie and cranberry in a, in a roll or a sandwich. 90 calories for 30 grams. Just picked up this flora. It's not a light one. Just picked it up. 100 grams is 629. I bought some macaroni. I got some lasagna sheets just in case I run out later. Would really help if I told you your calories, wouldn't it? Macaroni is per 170 grams, 300. But does that cook for not? When cooked, 170 grams is 300. Lasagna sheets per 170 gram cooked is 300. And then, yeah, I told you the floor, didn't I? Oh, the lid's broken on the floor. Uh. And then the last few things, some mozzarella. 30 grams, 70 calories. Coleslaw for later, reduced fat one. This one is, oh. 53 calories for a six of the pack. Um, Dormio white sauce. I got the lighter one. Oh my goodness me. 100 grams, 86 calories. So I got that. And then I bought the tomato one. That is 46 calories per 100 grams. And then the last thing I picked up is 
some mints. Now I would go for 5% usually because it is um, obviously less fat. However, this was in the reduced aisle and this is 15%. So it is going to add on a few calories to my lasagna. That's my mozzarella, just gone west. Um, it is going to add a few calories to my lasagna. What's a few calories between friends? And it's been divided by six, so it's only going to add on a few calories. And per 100 grams, it's 209. There's 750 in there. And that is me shop. I didn't really mean to go shopping, but then I invited Jess over and I was like, oh, shall I cook a roast or lasagna? And then I let her pick and she was she swayed for the lasagna, so I was like, right, I'll go on Tesco. So I'm going to put this shopping away. This is the colour I'm going to dye my hair. Do you know what? I always think to myself, why can't you get the face and the body and all that that goes with these pictures? Hmm. We'll see what it comes out like. You watch, it'll be nothing like that at all. But me greys will be gone. Right, catch you in a bit. Possibly with different coloured hair. Hmm. Not sure about this colour. Don't know if I'm a bit, bit of a ginger ninja here. Eh? <laughs> Do you like it? It's alright. Doesn't really fit you. Doesn't really fit me? No. What do you mean? You look like you'd, you'd sport blonde or black hair. Black hair, no chance. Not sure I like it though. Mm. Looks gingery blonde. It's the light, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I think maybe. Mm. Maybe I'm going to put another colour on top of that. I don't know if I like it. I'm going out tomorrow. So, how was your day? Fine. So? Do you notice the car's been washed? No. Outside you do, not inside. Even to learn. Hmm. I don't know, it might grow on me this colour. Actually, yeah, I have noticed. It's alright now. Not bad. It's not grey. It's, yeah, it's not grey at least. Uh, you don't look like, uh, what's her name? You know that woman with the big glasses, which is grey and really red lipstick? Who? I can't, I don't know. Mrs. Doubtfire. Huh? Mrs. Doubtfire. Probably. What woman with the big red lips? Oh, do you know what you look like? Go on. With the grey Go on. You look like that woman from Cat Out. What woman from Cat in the Hat? I'm seeing them. I'm some chewing gums. Oh, I don't know, Wi Fi. Two calories each now. Red bars. Want one? Yeah. We really can't borrow some data, sorry. I can't see them. Yeah, that's not bad. Not colours, it's quite hot. Color. Yeah. Peppermint, the spearmint. Joking. Hot. It might be because I've got six of them in my mouth. Sixteen in your mouth? Not sixty. Six. And they're hot. They're not hot, they're just minty. They're hot. It's like a, it's like a really like a Carolina Reaper. Oh god, couldn't do that. I'd be spoon. Yeah, I don't think I like this colour. 
I'm getting ginger ninja vibes. Not that there's anything wrong with ginger. But, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Harry? It's, I ain't got time to go to the shop now. Hmm. And Jessica's been for tea. I might nip back up to Tesco. Come? No. Mm -hmm. I think I'll put um I'm in bed. You live in bed. I think I'll put I'll uh I like brown um eyebrows gingery. Hmm. I told you, it never comes out like the frigging box. Don't. Never get your eyes gi ginger. My eyes ginger? I'm your eyebrows, I mean. Yeah, ginger eyes. Ginger eyebrows. Keep your eyebrows on. How am I going to have ginger eyebrows? Paint them, innit? Kids. I've just got in from the school run and I'm having four... Morning coffee biscuits, 144 calories for all four. So I've invited my friend round for tea tonight and we're having lasagna. So I've just made this and it's ready to go in the oven. And it's 480 something, I'll put it on screen, a portion. This is the lasagna all cooked. It smells absolutely delicious. This is my dinner. It's a total of 814 calories. So that is my portion of lasagna, which is 485. I've got one Tesco's garlic chia batter slice for 130. I have got 132 grams of the Jamie Oliver and Chipotle sweet potato tray bake. And then I've got a little bit of reduced fat coleslaw. I've got 54 grams for 58 calories, so it is 814, and that is my dinner, so I will catch you for pudding. This is what I'm having for my pudding, it is some of the lemon tart and the cream I picked up earlier, the vanilla cream. I'll put the calories on the screen because I haven't got my iPad to hand. And then I've still got calories left, so I'm also going to have a cream egg. And I'm coming in with 14 calories left to spare. So that is my day. I've had a delicious day. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that now. And I will catch you tomorrow on the next one where you will see what colour my hair is next. Because it's not staying this colour. <laughs> Bye, guys.